Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with a fairly interesting video, I think. I haven't done anything like this um, on my channel. And yeah, Lazy Sunday, and I was actually going through uh, my collection, cleaning up and everything. And the this topic of backups and like hoarding makeup just kept running through my mind. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about it, how I feel about it, and things that I actually do purchase multiples of. Okay. So, a lot of us with huge collections, and a lot of us on YouTube, if you watch any makeup collection video, you're going to see the comments. That's too much makeup. You have too much makeup. Um, you're a hoarder. I, I've gotten that. Um, so, I just want to address some things, and just really quickly, and yeah, let me calm down. Um, so, I guess, say what you want to say. I think what you want. This is a collection. I view it as a collection. Um, I don't make excuses for it. I don't go into debt because of it. Um, I like to review makeup. I like to collect makeup. I like to wear makeup. And this is what makes me happy. Everyone has a hobby. And I don't know why makeup collecting gets a lot of flag. I, I, don't, I don't know. But anyway, with that being said, me personally though, the way I do my collection, of course, things I like, I want to try, I want to review, I buy them. There are things that I fall in love with. Okay, um, there are things that I fall in love with and that, you know, you have that fear of being discontinued because that's happened to me, that fear of like missing out, like you're not going to get it again. So naturally, you want to buy it all the time or keep buying it up before, you know, because you don't want to ever run out of it. I completely understand that. Um, it, it's complete. I completely understand it. But. With me and my personal collection, I don't do that. I try not to do that. Um, you know, I always say I don't really hoard. I don't buy backups. For a long time, I didn't have any backups of anything. Um, I just didn't do that. Like, I don't I don't know why. I just felt like that's when you had a problem. I don't know. Even when I really loved something, I just didn't buy a backup of it. Um, I just didn't until I used it up. So, anyway... With that being said, I have a few things now as I've grown that I do keep backups of. And I don't, when I say keep backups of, I don't necessarily go out and just buy them and buy them and buy them. But if they're on sale, a lot of them are drugstore items. If they're on sale, um, you know, you catch a good deal. And I only purchase things that I use up pretty quickly, um, to be honest with you. And this may help you out in your, your collection. Even if I love an eyeshadow palette. Like, I had two Lorac Mega Pro 2s. But I just gave one away. But I just, um, I got them because I bought one and then my sister bought me one not knowing I had it. Like, things like that. Like, that, no, I'm not buying a backup of an eyeshadow palette. You know, something I'm never going to use up. Um, I'm not buying a backup of, um, like a blush takes a long time. Things like that. But things that I have, I have used up more than once. It probably takes like one to two times me using it up to know, okay, I really like this. I to get more um so i'm just going to show you the things that i do have backups of and why i have backups of the of these particular products and that kind of can help you see which ones that i like um which ones that i really love um yeah and things i just i there are things i just never want to run out of i i just don't want to run out of them and yeah so the first big thing that i hoard i guess you could say are makeup wipes. Baby wipes. I love to use baby wipes. Baby wipes as well as makeup wipes. This bin is heavy. I'm going to try to lift it up. If I find a wipe that I like, I will repurchase it. It doesn't have to be on sale. If I go in the store and I see them, I have extra money to get them, I'll get them. Um, I do have a limit. Like, I'm like, okay, I got like three packs. I don't need any more. But, like, I like to keep, I like to keep backups of it. Um, you do catch some good sales, especially, like, on my Garnier wipes and different things. Baby wipes. I have run out of baby wipes, and it's just, it's the worst thing for me. Because I just hate wasting a makeup wipe to wipe off my counter. Like, I, so... Here's my, I have my little wall of wipes. I put one of each wipe that I use just like on a shelf. And then all the backups are in this bin. Let me see if I can get my big bin out of wipes. These are all my wipes. And the reason why I hoard wipes, I use them. I use wipes every day. If I'm having a nice swatch session or I'm playing in makeup or I'm doing a look, I can use a whole pack of wipes in a sit-down session. I can use, like, when I, my mom comes over, my friends come over, and we just play in makeup all day, we can go through two packs of baby wipes just wiping off swatches. and it They get used. This is not one of them things that sits in my collection. They get used. I have all the, all the types of wipes. When I see a deal... Big packs of wipes for a dollar that I love. 
I don't like all types of wipes. I don't just talk about all types of wipes, but specifically like my favorite types of wipes. I'll get them. Um, like for an example, these Sephora wipes. When I first bought them, um, I got two packs. I haven't bought them anymore, and I love them, but they're like $7.50, so I, I'll wait till I run out to purchase those. But like my drugstore wipes, my baby wipes, my 88 cent wipes, like when I go to Aldi's and get my favorite pack of wipes, I'll buy them like 10 packs at a time. Um, things like that, because I know I go through them. So wipes is definitely one. They get thrown out. It's, yeah, I, yeah, so that's definitely one. Now, in the theme of wipes, um, <laughs> makeup removers, I usually before I discovered this makeup remover that I'm about to show you, I never hoarded makeup removers because I like to try different ones. Um, just not a big deal. But this stuff here, the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. Um, the pink version and the blue version. I have both versions. Here we go. This is my favorite makeup remover next to my MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Um, this is my favorite. I use it again. This is an everyday type of use thing. Before application, during application, to get something off after application. I use it and I use a lot of it. You don't need a lot, but I, I use a lot because I use it for everything. So now I can show you this little basket. I actually have <laughs> six backups and this is funny. Um, I love this stuff. Here it is in my little basket. I love this stuff and I didn't buy these full price. Like, that's one of those items that I love and I would love having backups, but if it's not on sale, I don't need to hoard it until it goes, you know, like, it's $7 at Walmart, which is the cheapest I've seen it, however, this was at CVS and I think it was like a misprint, these were 50% off, and buy one, get one half off, and both of them worked at the register, um, so I got these for like $3 a piece and then the other one was $1, yeah, so I clean the shelf because like yeah this is seven dollars I'll pay upwards of $9.99 for it regular price at Walgreens is like $9.99 depending on I got them from CVS $9.99 $8.99 $7.99 that range Walmart is the cheapest at seven dollars but I was in CVS and I think they were like $7.99 but they were half off so you're talking four dollars and then buy one get one half off so two dollars like it was something really really cheap and I had points I had little yeah so I picked them up so that's why I have six backs up six backups of this like that that was one of those I got lucky and I had to jump on it because I use it. Um, so I do have those backups. Um, let me put that back. Okay. And then I have this little bin here. I can't lift it up. Um, of things that there are backup. I have backups of just one little bin. Excuse me. One little bin. And I'll just show you what I have in here. Um, some of my backups that I haven't bought. My friend Drea, shout out to Drea, I go shopping with her, hang out with her. She watches my videos, and she, if she sees something that I rave about, like I love, especially from the drugstore, like if I love it, she'll go out, she's a couponer, and she'll go out and she'll get me a bunch of it. Like for an example, my Dream Matte Mousse, I had to give some of these away to my friend Jessica. She got me like six jars of these, because she had like all these coupons. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is the backups that I have that I bought that that I, you understand what I'm saying? Because I have other things people give me that I may have already had, and that's not pretty much my decision to have a backup, you know. So, I'll show you the, it's not that many things. So the first thing, again, if it's on sale, if I'm down to one, I'm getting it. The Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powders, specifically the one in Golden Almond Finish, this is the lightest one, and then the Milk Chocolate Finish is the darkest one. I use this all over the face, I use this under the eyes, pretty much every single day. Unless I'm baking, I'll use something different. Or unless I'm doing a light no makeup makeup, I'll use something different. But 95% of the time, it's this powder. I have gone through a lot of these. Um, if you watch my MDs videos, you've seen it. My favorites videos, you've seen it. This is like a 5 or $6 powder, depending on where you're shopping. Definitely backup. Like, this is something that I purposely buy as backups. Um, I have two here. I have two. I'm showing you the backups now. So I have one of each in my powder drawer that I'm still using and then these two are the backups. So once I hit this backup, like once I'm done that one and have to pick this one up and I, I need one in the backup drawer. I don't know, that's just one of those items that I absolutely love and I, yeah. The next thing is mascara and I'm kind of iffy with mascara because I try a lot of different mascaras. Like I do, I like to try and test them. But throughout my testing, there's always that fallback, that holy grail mascara that 
I if it's on sale I don't mind because I know it works and I have two of those the first one is the L'Oreal voluminous carbon black um, this is another one that my friend Drea kind of coupons for me and gets for me because it's drugstore but this is one that if it's on sale, I pick up one. Mascara, you run through it a lot. I do run through a lot of mascara. It's so funny. Like, I'll, the ones that I'm trying and testing are the ones that aren't my favorites. I wear them every now and then. Like, I have a lot of mascaras, but usually I'm wearing one of, like, three every day. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is one of those. The Voluminous Carbon Black. I love this mascara. It's kind of on the wet side, but I don't mind it. Um... I'll wear this one without falsies. It's a really good mascara. And the other one is the Maybelline Lash Sensation. These two just happen to be what Drea got me. Um, doesn't matter the type. Doesn't matter the uh, formula. This is a great mascara. It's one of my favorites. I think I like that one a little bit more than the falsies. So these are two backups. Again, I have one in. The ones I'm showing you are the backups. I have one in there. Um, ready to go. And again, mascara does dry out. So that's something that can be replaced pretty quickly. Um... Although, I kind of stretch out my mascara longer than the three or six months, just so you know. Um, but yeah, that is another backup. Another backup that I'm never going to go through. But this was one of those ones that it was just a good deal. Too good to pass up. And I, this was kind of one of the ones I went overboard on. But um, I have a lot of eyeshadow primers. But the one I use every single day is Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I, can't, I switch it up every now and then. Um... But that's one of those things, like, there are a lot of things that I switch up every day. I don't wear the same thing every day. But primer, primer um, and my under eye powder are kind of one of the two that I don't change. And my brows kind of one of the two that I don't change unless it's something special. I'm specifically wanting to use something different. Um, but on the regular, those are pretty much the three things that I can reach for the same thing all the time. And uh, Nordstrom Rack had the small ones on sale for five dollars these are like twelve dollars in the store and this is the old packaging with the squeeze tube now they have a wand and then these were ten dollars i got i don't even remember how many i got um but it was like yeah i picked up i have two and two here i'm never gonna run out of them and i've already i think i got three and three and i gave away two once it to my friends um but yeah I'm not going to buy any more. Trust me, I'll go to Nordstrom. I'm not going to buy any more for probably years. But just so you know, this is a backup that I did buy. And yeah, don't regret it. But never going to run out. I also hit... Did I have... Because you know these come, Urban Decay, they come with like kits. I'm trying to think. They Because I have one in my makeup kit. And I don't remember buying it from Nordstrom. I think I got that one. Ulta had them for like $10 maybe. Because I have one in my makeup kit too. And I'm like, wait a minute, where'd that one come from? So anyway... Okay, that's that. Um, let me see what else I have in here. Oh, brow. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil is my favorite brow pencil of all time. Um, you know NYX buy one, get one at Ulta. Every time they're usually on sale, I try to pick up a brow pencil. This is the only backup I have, and I have one in my uh, brow drawer. But this is one of those ones. The one thing, they're $9.99, but you know you can usually get a buy one, get one. You can use your points at Ulta. But they go out, run out quickly. Um, And by quickly, I mean couple months I mean that's not quickly I guess I guess but enough to replay you're gonna need a few each year like yeah it's not gonna last you the whole year so that's one and I have I use different colors I use brunette I use espresso and I use chocolate whichever one they have in the store they all kind of look the same to me to be honest with you so um yeah that anything else in here that I purchased as a backup now, look, I have a teeny primer potion as well. This came with the little eye kit I got from Ulta. So I have enough primer potion. I really do. Um, but I think that is it for my back. I thought I had more. Um, but those are the, like I said, I don't. Um, I have some things in here that happen to be extra. I buy one, get one free. Um, buy one, get one free. Drea got me another Pro Mat. You know, I love this Maybelline foundation. She got me that as well. Um... What else did she... Oh! This was buy one, get one free. NYX was buy one, get one free when I bought my NYX contour kit. So I have an extra contour kit. And, um... I got two of them from... Oh, us. <clears throat> I'm Max. Um, so one is in my kit. One is in my drawer. One I gave away. And I have this one. I love the NYX contour kit. So... <clears throat> That's another one. But I think... I'm trying to think. Buy one, get one free... Drea, yeah, 
that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. I try not to hoard. I love variety. Having the same thing in your collection, just a bunch of it, seems kind of boring to me. Um, but if I do like something, and it, uh, you notice they're mostly drugstore because they want a sale or a discount. Um, if I really like something, I'll repurchase it. Like hiring things, more expensive things. If I run out of like a high-end foundation, I'll repurchase it. For an example, my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. I'll repurchase it, but I'm not going to buy a backup of it. I love it, unless there's some type of sale. But that's $34 that, yeah. Or they're discontinuing it, something like that. I may consider it, but yeah. So that's pretty much what I want to talk about, like my backups and everything. I don't, I, again, I don't have a lot of them. Um, I have a few things in this bin, again, that I know I have one, like with this ColourPop highlighter, they sent me two of the same one by mistake. I like the highlighter, so I'll keep it, but like, I just wanted to show you the things that I pulled out of my pocket to purposely buy as a backup, because I loved it that much. Um, but yeah, I almost forgot one, um, so let me edit that clip in, uh, for another backup sponges, makeup sponges. They can wear out, you can, you do have to throw them away, like Beauty Blender's Real Technique sponges, I have a little jar here, um. And I do kind of hoard the makeup sponges. These are just all the ones that I have clean in here. I have beauty blenders and real technique sponges, my Ulta sponges. Um, the reason why I do hoard these, I guess, my camera straight. Mm -hmm. The reason why I do hoard these is because. I am a one-time use person. Like with a brush, I can use it a few times before I have to wash it. A sponge, I usually only use it once before I decide to wash it. And so, that can get time consuming. If you only have one sponge, washing it every day, wetting it every, like, yeah. So I keep my dirty ones in here. So once I use one, I put it in here. Um, But I also catch these on sales. I have never bought a beauty blender full price. Ever. I got two in a birch box and two different birch boxes. IMAX always has beauty blender deals, so I purchased them. Um, but yeah, I own one, two, three, four, five. Probably like nine or ten beauty blenders, and never people price for any of them. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Beauty blenders are twenty dollars, and mm, real technique sponges. Actually, I caught a bomb deal, two bomb deals. So um, I have some of these in my makeup kit as well. Two bomb deals. So the first one was Ulta. They were buy one get one free. Real techniques was buy one get one free. So I bought a two pack. I bought a two pack, the ten ninety nine ones, and I got two free. And I think I, I bought two two packs. So I had got eight, two four. I'm tripping. Eight sponges. So I got. Two two packs and two two packs free and make I I don't know my math. Okay? So I picked those up. It was um and I used my point not my points, you know, the coupon and everything. So really good deal. And then to the two packs of real technique sponges, I'm not I'm not joking, you guys. We're on clearance in Walgreens for a dollar. Real techniques, because Walmart not Walmart, Walgreens sells some Real Techniques stuff, and they had the double packs of sponges, I posted on my Instagram, Real Technique sponges, on clearance for a dollar, and it was four packs of them, and yes, I bought, mm, drop both the sponges, not a video until I drop something, I bought both, all four packs of sponges, that's all they had, I would have bought all of them, but for a dollar, so that's why I have so many Real Technique sponges and beauty blenders, um, but again, I do, because I hate washing them, and if there is a good deal, like a dollar deal, I'm buying them, um, yeah, and I've had a lot of backups. Again, if there's a lot of stuff that people gave me and, like, I already had and stuff, I do give a lot away. Um, but those, that was, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. This, the sponges are really something that I do look for a good deal and try them out. And there are a lot of other companies coming out with sponges, so I'm always trying different ones. I still haven't gotten my hands on the e.l.f. ones. Um, Real Techniques came out with a new sponge. So, sponges. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all so, so much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.